I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. That's right, we're gonna be making five ingredient homemade everything bagels and only 150 calories per bagel. I don't know about you, but that's healthy to me. Oh, and those days where you're spending $5 on a bagel, that's over. New York, I'm coming for you. Uh-uh-uh, not yet, Shells. Let's get into it. First things first, I'm using a low-fat Greek yogurt. You can use a full-fat Greek yogurt, but I wanted to keep these bagels at around 125 to 150 calories because regular bagels kind of run you about 300 to 500 calories depending on how big they are. So you won't feel bad if you had a second one. You know what I mean? Using my Danish dough whisk, I'm going to combine the two very well. You can also use a wooden spoon or a spatula, whatever works for you. Now because I am making everything bagels, I wanted this dough to be more garlic and oniony, so that's why I'm putting garlic powder and onion powder. But if you wanna make maybe like a cinnamon raisin bagel, try adding cinnamon and raisins now, right before your dough comes together. You know, get creative. Make sure you're using Greek yogurt, self-rising flour, and salt, and then just season it however you'd like it. Now that the dough has come together, we're going to lightly flour our cutting board, making sure that we get a little bit more flour on top as we roll the dough out. Also, make sure not to overwork the dough because that will result in a very flat bagel. Now, depending on the size of the bagel you want, I cut them eight ways, but if you want them a bit bigger and more puffier, I recommend just cutting the dough into four. If you want medium-sized bagels, cut it into six. And if you want small bagels like me, I'm making them into eight, so there's a little tip for ya. In this clip, I'm just showing you quickly how I form the bagel, but I will be showing you in a real-time clip how to make them, and we'll explain it once we get there. Um, I don't know who's we, but it's just me here, so. Yay. Okay, here we go. Flour your surface and then roll out your dough to the desired thickness that you want in your bagel. And then you're gonna take both ends and you're going to wrap it around your hand. Now, take those two ends and roll it a little bit, not too much. You're gonna find that this dough is very moist, but when you stick them kind of like prick them together not prick them what am i saying pinch them <laughs> pinch so you want to pinch both sides together put a little bit of flour as you can see and it'll hold its shape and then plop it on down to the uh, baking sheet and you're good to go Using my pastry brush, I'm going to brush on some egg wash on the surface, making sure that I get every inch of the bagel. The egg wash just consists of one egg whisked with a splash of water, so that's all that is to it. Now, if you want plain bagels, you're more than welcome to not put anything else on top. You can put some sea salt on top, that's fine. Season it how you would like, but I'm gonna use my Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Seasoning. It is so delicious. Little bits of onion, garlic, sesame seeds, poppy seeds, so freaking good. That's my favorite. I love Trader Joe's, yeah. Make sure not to skip the egg wash because it is what's going to help the bagel brown nicely and also it's gonna help the seasoning stick to the bagel itself. And here in this clip, I'm just taking a spatula and flipping them over because I wanna season the other side as well. And repeating the process, and then you're all set. You will be ready to pop them in the oven. And voila, homemade everything bagels. So beautiful, look at that. Look at that gorgeous color. Look at that. And you see how the seasoning just stuck to the bagel? It's not like falling out like crazy. That's right. Homemade bagels at home. <laughs> made by you. Well, made by me, but hopefully you soon, because you should definitely try this recipe, duh. Anyone from Queens know that spot 
Well, I'm from Astoria, so it's called, um, they serve like the huge bagels. What's it called? Um, Brooklyn Bagel. Brooklyn Bagel charges like over $5 for a bagel. You kidding me? At a deli. I, I lived in Ridgewood. I grew up in Ridgewood. At the deli, you get the bagel for like a dollar, two dollars now. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not spending five dollars on a bagel. Mm-mm. That's not me. Mm-mm. No, thank you. You can try these bagels with like a little bit of butter, maybe a compound herb butter with some garlic, maybe some lox. Put some hummus with some cucumbers, tomatoes, scallions, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. Oof. Some salmon, some lox. I, I never, I'm not into that, but you know, eh, what are you going to do? A lot of people are. Look at that. Look at those air pockets, those air bubbles. Beautiful. This isn't going to be your very dense bagel. This is very light, airy, chewy, but still delicious. I'm just spreading a little bit of vegan cream cheese, giving it a little taste, a little chew. How is it, Shells? Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. The little dance, that's that happy dance, like yummy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you. Delicious. Look, she's still dancing. That's me. Oh, we have another taste tester. It's Vincent, my roommate boyfriend <laughs> let's see can't see his reaction but what do you think look at that he's italian so he speaks with his hands so that means it's good perfect thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you give this recipe a try it's only five ingredients it's not gonna take too much time out of your day trust me come on look at that yum chewy bagel Again, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I will see you on the next video. Wait, don't I usually say I'll see you in the next one? Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Look at my beautiful bagel basket. Yes, shells, work it. Work those bagels, sell those bagels. Okay, thanks.